Paul from Washington, D.C. We are, these are live, live pictures now. Yeah, you see uh, Bob Stewart on the left-hand side, uh, just outside the hinge line of the door. And uh, you saw Bruce McCandless in his easy chair there. And we got a good shot of you there in the flight deck. And they wait. I understand we're about 35, 40 seconds away. And I misspoke the president. I had forgotten he's on vacation. He's out in Santa Barbara at his ranch, and that's where the phone call will be coming from. Last time he called from out there, he asked if the astronauts could stop, pass over his area, and pick him up. Uh, Bruce, uh we can't hardly really see you down there. Why don't you come up just a little bit? Set director oh, Graham. Bruce maneuver up into the center. Still a For our stations yeah. along the line, we're just tuning in. I'm Lou Waters with astronaut Mike Lounge. We have live pictures from space, and the astronauts are outside the orbiter waiting for a call from the president. We're looking at uh, Bruce McCandless. On the left of your screen, it's Bob Stewart. Uh, do I have it right? Bob, That's Bob. Oh, Bob Stewart's left your screen. Bruce is here in his backpack, just coming up out of the payload bay. <clears throat> and a lot of live TV today. We're toward the tail end of it now. The call from the president will precede the uh, astronauts uh, stowing the gear, getting back into the orbiter and repressurizing. That will be their last venture outside the orbiter before Friday's scheduled landing. Tomorrow, we expect a news conference from space. And all the astronauts will be answering reporters' questions at the Johnson and Kennedy Space Centers. Friday, or rather Saturday morning, 7.19 a.m., a Here's scheduled landing at give you control back on the cameras for a while. Kennedy Space Center in okay, Florida. Okay, The weather, however, now uh, is iffy. They may or may not make that uh, scheduled landing on Saturday morning. There's a possibility uh, of anything happening now. They may decide to land at Edwards. They may decide to delay the flight for a day and try for Kennedy on Sunday if they figure by then that the weather might clear. And Sunday looks a little bit more possible as far as making that first ever landing on the concrete runway at Kennedy Space Center. That landing is something that the uh, NASA people would like okay, to accomplish. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that We've been <laughs> nothing is happening here, as as you see, because uh, this is the position like that, that uh, NASA wants the astronauts in for uh, the president. Nothing spontaneous going on here. Challenger Houston, the president of the United States. Commander Brand, I'd like to say a good yes. morning to you and your crew. I'm talking to you from California. I don't know exactly where you are. I know you're up there someplace. But you're all doing a fine job on this historic mission. And I'd like to say hello to Bruce McCandless and Bob Stewart who are sending us this spectacular television coverage of man's historic walk in space. Let me ask you, What's it like to work out there, unattached to the shuttle, and maneuvering freely in space? Well, we've had a great deal of training, sir, so it feels quite comfortable. The view is simply spectacular and panoramic, and uh, we believe that moving units, first time working unattached, we're literally opening a new frontier in what man can do in space. And uh, we'll be paving the way for many important operations on the coming space station, sir. Well, that is just great. You've really opened a new era for the world in space with this mission. You've shown both our commercial partners and our foreign partners who play an important role in this and other missions to come that man does have the tools to work effectively. 
absolutely in space. You, I understand uh, you had an opportunity this morning, an unexpected or unscheduled thing, uh, maneuvering the shuttle and making a recovery of an object in space. Commander? Yes, sir. Uh, what do you and Boot Gibson and Ron McNair do while Bruce and Bob are <laughs> working outside? Well, we're we're pretty busy in here, uh, just keeping track of them. They <clears throat> they have a lot of uh, tests to go through, and uh, of course, it is the first check out on something that's rather futuristic: the uh, the backpack, the man maneuvering unit. So we're just monitoring them, making sure that uh, we don't lose sight of them. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Say, Hoot, I understand uh, you must have a special interest in making sure everything's working right up there since your wife will be making the trip on board the shuttle this summer. Do uh, you have any tips to pass along to her? Uh, that, that's true, Mr. President. She is. She's going up uh, about in August, and that's why, as you say, I've been trying to check everything out and make sure it's going to work well when she goes. I, the thought of myself going up doesn't bother me, but I think I'll be nervous when she goes. I can understand that. Do you think she'll enjoy it? I know she'll enjoy it. Well, now, could I ask, how are the experiments on board the shuttle working out? I understand that you have one dealing with arthritis and other experiments on board that may lead to advances in manufacturing and various kinds of material processing. Mr. President, the experiments are working out very well. We're very pleased with the results we're seeing, and there's a lot of promise uh, being demonstrated in all the areas you just mentioned, and uh, we look forward to getting them back on the ground and analyze and make some uh, good use of these results. Well, well, let me again congratulate all of you on board the Space Shuttle Challenger. You're doing a fine job. Your commitment and courage on this historic flight I think are an inspiration to, to all of us. And I know that you have things to do and much more important than getting a telephone call from Earth. So let me just say to you, have a safe journey home and God bless you all. Uh, thank you very much for calling, sir. We uh, really appreciate that. It's my pleasure. All right. I'm proud to be a part of this mission. All right. Goodbye. President of the United States talking about commitment and courage as he uh, speaks with each of the Challenger astronauts who continue on this 41 Bravo mission around the Earth and are about to wrap up their activities as far as uh, uh, extra ve vehicular activity, that uh, backpack.